Hello everyone, welcome to uh, my um, YouTube channel. Okay, and uh, today um, I am going to share to you another, you know, statement of uh, C, and I hope um, I can share you again another useful uh, uh, learnings today. I would just like to refer something that. Uh, on my previous videos, uh, I made mention about basics in C programming, right? That we need to follow rules, right? We have to, you know, in every um, statement in C, we have to end up with semicolon, right? That's part of the syntax. And in a particular programming structure of C, we have to include certain header files or the preprocessor part, then followed by the declaration part. We have to declare any variables that we have to use in, in our program. Whether it is, I mean, mentioned that we have to focus first in three character, what is that? Uh, integer and, and float for now. There are so many, but we'll focus first here. Okay, I want you to enjoy and learn, right? Enjoy and learn. Now, uh, I made mention also that in programming, there's so many ways of doing a program, creating a program. Depending on your program, or daily or as long as your program targets the problem, then that's correct. Okay? So today, I am going to give you another example. A program using um, scanf and uh, printf statement. Because I want you to, you know, to master good mo aning kar. Kaya mo basic good sa C programming. Okay? So, um, here, uh, let's say, for example, um, uh, what is that? Um... um I would say uh, here design a program to ask for a to ask for a value right and then convert convert it into an ASCII ASCII code. We, we, we are all familiar with ASCII, right? What is the meaning of ASCII? American Standard What is this? Good. Uh, we, we can Google this one. Uh, okay? So, basta it's, it's uh, because this is more inf uh, information interchange. I mean, if you have this 76, what is the equivalent value of this is it letter A, letter B, letter C, that's ASCII code. Okay? So, magbuhat ang program that will ask a value and then convert niya into an ASCII code. It's very simple. It's very simple. Here. Okay? So, you can say include, right? This is what? Preprocessor part. We have to include this header file or else our program will not run. And then, in main curly brackets right these are the programming structure and then in what in value for example right and then here the next one is we'll try to inform the user now we are in need of a value right so enter a value and then to ask for it so button to scan it right so scan f uh, what is that? Um, <clears throat> present day, right? Because uh, we need to have what? Uh, an integer value, man. Uh, not age, but value. And next is display the result. Convert. How to convert? Um, you have to display like this. Um, uh, an ASCII code of your value is this one. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Uh, here. I'm going to explain this one later. Now, oh, look at this. We are trying to get a value. And the value that we are in need is what? Integer. So that's why we are using scanf. And we tend to use this one. 
because this is for the integer. And then, meaning, anything yung musod aning value is actually an integer value. It's a number. 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And then, atong button to convert it into an ASCII code, butang lang ag percent D, right? Is percent C. Meaning, from an integer, imong isyang i-display using printf into a character value. And we are using the same variable. Meaning, whatever, uh, not C. This is not C. This is what? This is value. Okay? Meaning, whatever content of this value, kini iyang butang dari. And the value here, ikbutang yung dari. Character. Okay? So, we'll try. We'll, we'll try to check if this program will run. Okay? So, here. Um, uh, it's here. Uh, what is that? Uh, include. I'm sorry. Include. This is preprocessor again, right? Is the diode that it's. Are you following? Then, int main. Right? Then, the curly brackets. And then, int value. Okay? All right, next. Print if um, enter enter a value <laughs> and then scan if that's present the right present the comma this is part of the syntax then value okay we declared here the variable the variable that we declared is value so values are and then to display the converted result so there's only one way we have to use print it and then an ascii i'm sorry an ascii code of your value is this one so actually we are using two the same variable but then the first one is being displayed in par with its declaration the second value the same value but then in a character form so let's see what's next we'll try to run okay we'll try to execute this program click run program and here our program is now asking for a value say for example being equal 79 this 79 will be stored to your variable value, right? And then after a while, it display niya by using printf statement, okay? And then when we press enter k, here. So an ASCII code of 79 is letter O. So it's a nice program, right? Uh, we are using scanf again, but then uh, the value that we get out from the scan if it's an integer value we printed it out and then we printed the same value but in a different data type present c so it's good now we'll try to run again we'll try to execute the program again if i would say 100 value what is then the ascii code the ascii code of 100 is letter I'm done. I, I hope I shared something um, useful today and uh, uh, we still have time. I guess um, I can give you another example and another statement. Okay. All right. Do you have any question on this? The conversion is in here. All right. We are trying to use value twice and then we displayed it here using present day. And then the second value is using percent C. It's one, that's how to convert uh, a numeric value into an ASCII code. Okay, now here, we are using scanf. Don't you know that in C programming, there is this another statement similar to scanf? Okay, because ang problema mo sa scanf is this. Ang scanf is capable of accepting one character value. Di ni siya kadawat o for example, name. Di siya kadawat. Complete name, Janil Dehilig. Pag iman na ipugusugsud, ang masud na is only letter G. Okay? Because the, the memory allocation of one is only one character. What if we 
we we need to have the complete name. So, may bahato na to ana. Okay? So, na ko i share sa inyo. Ever here. It's in my notepad here. Some of the important points of scan if and gets. So, what I'm trying to to say today is that instead of scan if, we can use gets if we wanted to have a complete name or <coughs> a series of um, characters, no? Like here. What is the difference? Um, scan if and gets are both used to take input from the keyboard. So they're they're actually similar. They're, they're actually the same. If you are to use gets and you are to use scan if, they are the same function. They will ask value from the keyboard. Second, uh, scan if can only take input until it it encounters space. So many akong yung sinyo nga. Scan if is capable of holding one character only. The words after space is ignored by it. So delete niya dawaton. While gets is used to take single input at a time, but can be used to input a complete sentence or your name with spaces, unlike scanf. So flexible ang flexible ang gets kay kesa scanf. So unsa ano pag unsa may atong unsa unsa may atong unsa ano to paggamit? So let's let's try, okay? So here, um, we'll use for example car. Uh, is TR. By the way, 50. Um, <clears throat> is TR is a variable. You can have X, you can have Y, you can have M, you can have name, value. This is an array variable. Okay? A character array variable that is capable of holding 50 characters. Right? Now, I would like you to focus first on gets. Ayaw sa libog-libogan ninyo inyong huna sa array. Because sooner, we'll discuss array variables. Okay? So, as to the technicalities of array, never mind. Okay? Let's focus first on gets. Right? So, ayaw sa na. Ang inyong huna na as maura gini. This is an array declaration. A character array variable. And this is the array is a variable that can hold 50 characters. That's it. Ang halas ako ko to. Ayaw nagpakapini. Okay? Anyway, time will come and we'll be discussing array in 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 a deeper uh 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 way, right? So here um we can say print if um, enter your name, right? Enter your name and then here um instead of what is this? Instead of saying scan f, you can say gets, right? And then we'll use str. Okay? And here to display, you can say print f, right? Unya, how are you, my friend? Then followed by your, followed by s. Because um, your your str is actually it's a character, but then it is capable of holding fifty characters, so this is it's a string already. Okay, so string string variable, and then we'll be using the str. Okay, and here return zero. Okay, so we'll try running this program, right? We'll try. Um, uh, let's see if this program will 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 run right. So here, um, okay. Um, car. What is this car? Is tr right? Is tr fifty, and then next one is print f. Um, what is that? Enter your name. Are you following? Huh? And then instead of using scanf, like it up, gets, then we'll using the we'll be using the, the, the str as our variable. Okay? And then we'll display the result. So hello, how are you my my friend, then followed by percent s because uh, 
in this particular example, um, str as our variable is is a character, but then it's a string because it can handle a lot of characters, series of characters. Okay, and here, uh, return zero. I hope this program will run. <laughs> I hope this program will run. Let's see. Run. Okay. Oh. Oh, here. So there's actually a little, you know, problem, but never mind. In a way, ningdagan man ang program. Okay, so let's say, mayon kung a channel di hilig. Presenter. What's next? Look at this. How are you, my friend, Janelle di hilig? So, that's the good thing with gets. Dili ni makaya sa uh, scan it. Gets is capable of accepting a lot of variables, uh, a lot of characters. We'll try running again. Okay? So, let us say, for example, Lucas. Lucas Katadman. When you press enter K, how are you, my friend, Lucas Katadman? Okay? So... That's all for, for now. That's all for this video. I hope I shared something to you. It's, you know, useful and you learned from this. Take note here. Okay. Um, sometimes we need to use gets instead of scanner. And sometimes we need to convert this integer value into a character value. Depending on the problem. What I'm giving you today is, be, what I'm trying to discuss today is, in programming, you have to be very flexible. Depende sa problema. Daghantag solutions. Ang importante lang is, is ang solutions nga itong i-create, ang program nga itong i-create. Targets the problem. Thank you so much for now. God bless us. God bless you.